Hello everybody. Hopefully, hopefully I'm in the screen. <laughs> okay. So this is the Margaret Miller, if you didn't know. Uh, not this. This is the Margaret Miller Weekly Challenge. I haven't been doing it. It's been a while. If you look at that timeline here on YouTube, you'll see that I haven't done it in quite a while. But yeah, all it is is a collaging where you just take things and you go by this little list that she gives you and you collage it. See, and I always stick them on the back parts of the previous. Like, wait, no, this one goes, this is this one's. That way if I ever rip that out, I know, you know, that's what it is. Anyways, that's pretty much what they are. They're just collages. Sometimes there's artwork in it, sometimes there's not, sometimes there's photos, sometimes there's not. So anyways, I didn't know, realize how many I had prepared ahead of time. So, um, it's been a while, like I said, so I'm catching up. I'm on number 25. Uh, the last one I did was 24. And this one is something in the shape of a triangle. So, where did I throw this? So I chose this paper. I took off the little top, which was just, if I can find it, I don't want to touch this. I wasn't going to touch that, that's right, because if I mess that, it'll, all my stuff will fall down. <laughs> Anyways, there was a header on the top of this paper. All it is is like, uh, like Halloween paper. As you can see, it's just candy corn. So what I was going to do was either rip it up in little pieces or cut it in half, put one on one side, one on the other. I don't know yet. Uh, but there's that instructions um right here <laughs> i thought i'd be like a loophole you know must you know be like funny about this it just says instructions didn't say the whole instruction it just says instructions so in this it says please read general instructions before beginning to stitch this there's instructions but this is instructing you what to do anyways before you do a stitch so i kind of got away with that one <laughs> So anyways, there's that one. And a formula, whatever that means to you. So I found the formula for love. Because I am a person about love. I just love to love. So there's that. That's the formula for love, believe it or not. So there's that. And then we have, because um, it says whatever that means to you. So this is what it means to me. Something stenciled. This is one of my homemade stencils I had made from paper and one of my um, uh, die cuts. I sent it through, it was like cardstock paper. I sent it through with this on it and I kept the negative of, you know, instead of keeping just the not die, die cut, I kept the negative of the die cut and I made it into a stencil, if that makes sense. And here's a little piece too. So I can use that and the color scheme. I'm trying to keep that color together best I can anyway. And the last thing here is a place. So Texas, of course, because I'm Texan. And gotta, you know, just gotta put that in there. And a bonus is a crossword or newspaper magazine puzzle. Um, I'm not even going to do that. I just, I don't know. I just never really cared for that. Uh, but I can't find anything. I don't have anything unless I go and download it offline. And I'm like, eh, it's just a bonus anyways. So I'm going to work with what I have. So let's go ahead and do this. So you'll be seeing on my timeline for YouTube a whole bunch <laughs> of these. Because I'm going to try and get caught up. Um, but yeah, they're going to be set up to where one I'll do, it'll post one today. And then tomorrow, and then the next day, and the next day until I'm caught up. Because uh, I should have been like on 30 something by now. Like, you know, for, for real, for real. Um... But anyways, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this. So, I'm going to cut. I think I'm going to take these off. Because this, I don't know. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm going to, hmm. Too bad it wasn't more of this color. This wasn't. Darn it. I used to have other ones that I stenciled like this. I mean, I can make a real quick stencil, but... I already had one ready, so I'm just going to use this one. It's just not going to match in my mind. Oh, I hit my light. So, here we go. I'm going to keep that just in case I need it for another one. As a stencil, I'm going to keep that piece of paper. You never know. I might need it for daubing off my 
my uh, blotting off my my uh, stamps, and then may need it in one of these things. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one probably right here, maybe. Hmm. How about up here? And these, I'm not sure yet. And the reason why is because these are candy corn and they are the shape of a rectangle. And that's what it's requiring me to do is find something with the shape of a rectangle. Sorry if I seem a little off because <laughs> I just ate not long ago. And yeah, my, my glue close is really low and I'm trying to lose weight, that's why. Because I have gained a lot of weight. <laughs> yeah. Trying to be healthy. Oops, put that on top of a box down there. Okay, so this is going to be just a little too long. So I could turn this one into a pocket. But it's supposed to be a collage. But it didn't say that, does it? It never says that. It just says... Let's see what it says. <laughs> it says, um, it says 52 weeks of prompt assignments to cut out and use in your glue book. Okay. Well, you can also cut out and glue in your glue book a pocket. It says, read, th read through the collage assignment. Determine if you are able to find all the fi all five of the prompts. The bonus is there to use in case you need to swap out one of your other prompts. Oh, okay, I never realized that. Choose a glue book or somewhere you'd like to create your collage. Use a piece of scrap pattern paper in your collage or as a background. After you create a collage with your five prompts, add a sticker, a rubber stamping, or anything else to embellish it if you'd like. If you are on social media, share your work using the hashtags. I already do that. I put on there, belongs to Cracking Patty. <laughs> so I think I'm going to make this one into a pocket and then make these look like they're coming like... No, because I want this in the background. So, okay, okay, okay. So that's what we'll do. We're going to put... This is my background. And yes, it won't be, it wouldn't be, um, what do you call it, a formula if I, does it say portion of a formula or does it say the whole formula? Just a formula, whatever that means to you. So it doesn't say I have to cut all, you know, cut it in half or anything like that. Just doing that. I hope you're enjoying your day and I hope the video feed is good. I hope that it should be because it's high definition and it's a expensive camera. <laughs> the only thing is, is I don't edit these videos down. Sometimes I do, but my old computer won't let me view as I edit the videos. It won't let me view the video until after I've uploaded it to whatever media or whatever thing I got. Like if I save it to my computer. Okay, I want the whole thing to be in there, like that. Okay, and they said that we can embellish too. It doesn't have to have just what's on the list. So, yes. Uh-oh, I don't know if I have another glue stick. We'll see how much I have left. Not very much. Okay. I'm almost out of my glue stick. This one's going to go there. This stuff over here. That over here. Turn it over. Hopefully I can get this done without having to get another glue stick. Because I only kind of have is the cheaper version. I do believe. I think this was my last one. These, these, this glue stick, I know, maybe not to the other ladies, but it is for me. It's a little on the expensive side. I can't afford it. Whoa, I'm being stuck too. <laughs> that was kind of 
funny for me. It was funny. Hey, it is. Get it? It's love. It's a chemistry of love. The formula of love. There we go. I would have made the background a different color so it could, like, what do you call it? Um, contrast against it, but I think I like it just as it is. Okay. There. <laughs> At least the H is still on this side. Okay. Close that back up. Put that over there. These I can actually use regular glue if I need to. So I've got to think this through. Do I want to edge it? I'm sorry if I y'all hear me hiccuping. I can't help it. Or I can just put one on there. I can save the rest for something else. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do my pocket. Even though it's going to cover up some of the love aspects. <laughs> hmm. I'm not going to do it as a pocket after all. Because I don't want to mess up my picture of the, the, the chemistry of love. Of love. <laughs> This one is not going to be that pretty. It's really not. Hopefully it'll be okay though. I don't know if this is going to even look right. I'm piling up the glue. I hate when it does that because it gets stuck to my hand and I can't move it. Okay. I'm just going to plop it down. And move on. I'm not gonna let it bother me if it doesn't look right, you know. And I'm gonna put this right on top of that, maybe. Hmm. Maybe not. I think I'm gonna just stick with doing it up here. Yeah. I just don't like that it's hiding that letter right there. I mean, it's not like I need the top part of it, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. Hopefully I can. Sorry, I'm quiet all of a sudden. I'm just trying to make sure I can get this done without it messing up. There. Okay. So right there. Like I said, this one probably won't be as pretty as some of my pieces. <laughs> How about down here on that? Didn't cut that piece off right there. Go ahead and see what text is. Let's see. I can put this. And this is also instructions, I do believe. I'm not sure. It says the best marsh writing. Okay, then no, this is just just a place basically. Okay. So like I said, this one is not going to be perfect. I'm just going to glue it. Um, just going to give you a little story background from when I was a teenager. Me and my sister, we used to do this a lot when we was kids. Uh, my dad, he was an Amway. And I loved going to Amway, Amway meetings with him. I really did. I, he, he'd always grab me because nobody else wanted to go. I liked it because he always took me and did stuff, you know. And I just thought that was really cool, you know. Whatever. A lot of people are like, man, Amway? Really? Yeah, believe it or not, it's pretty fun. I mean, granted, it's a little lame. <laughs> but I didn't care. I was a teenager. The All I wanted to do was go hang out with my dad, you know. I'm just going to cut that piece off so it's not blocking that part of the uh, thing. So I'll just put that right there. So there's my... That's my... Uh, whoops. I keep going over the sides. No, don't stick. If you're seeing things on here like these things here, 
it's not a big deal it's just this was online and I just needed it real quick it's not to sell or anything like that I'm never gonna sell this so it's their what do you call it um, it's their uh, watermark there we go and like I said it's just a watermark that's all it is I'm not selling it if I was selling it then I would say oh yeah I shouldn't you know put that on there but it's just a watermark Okay, this is the instructions thing. I think that could go across the top up here. Okay, yeah, that's where I'll put that. This is from a cross stitch book. I have tons of them. I used to do cross stitching. Oh, good grief. I used to do cross stitching a lot when I was younger. I loved cross stitching. But I found these a long time ago. I have to wipe that off there. Oh, my towels are all gone. Is that one dry? That one's dry. Gotta let it dry. Okay. So, so far we have something in the shape of a triangle, instructions, formula, something stenciled, a place, and I'm not doing the crossword. So, there that is. Now let's just a little bit, bling it up just a little bit. That's what we'll do. Oh, I don't want to put that away because i got to glue that down. <laughs> This can go in my little basket of small things. Uh-oh, got it covered. There we go. And then after I'm done doing this, i got to go find, see if I can find my glue stick. Okay, what can we add to this to make it even cuter? If cuter was a word. Why don't I draw on it? Uh, what's it talking about? Instructions, a formula, we're going to talk science, okay? So science, a place even, crossword puzzle, so it's a newspaper. So I'm going to draw a guy holding a newspaper, a science newspaper, there we go. I don't know if there's a science, such a thing. And the bench will be, it will be shaped like a, a triangle too. That'll help. <laughs> so let's see if I can do that. I need to find my little... Where is it at? I don't know where I put it. Okay, I'll just get a piece of paper out. Oh, that's too small. I'm just going to grab some paper. If that wouldn't have done that, it would have been okay. <laughs> Everything came flying out of there. It's on my glue paper. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want it to go through and bleed onto the next white sheet of paper behind it. Let's leave that there. So, okay, do I draw it this way? Do I draw him this way? I think I'm going to draw him this way. Okay. First, I'm going to sketch him out. Do I have a regular pencil? I'm just going to use a regular pencil. Is he sharpened? No. This one's got happy faces. I like that one, so I'll use this one. How long am I in? 18 minutes, so I gotta make this a fast drawing. So it's not gonna be very pretty. <laughs> Darn it. There we go. Okay. So, pull off these little pieces. Okay, so I'm going to draw a man on a bench. So here is the the street. This is the curb. Hopefully I don't go for too many details. Um, and here's the bench that he's on. For now we're just going to draw the bench. That's the top. It's going to be... What? triangle so it's going to be a triangle shape kind of bench
Now, this is going to be the seat. We're going to make it go at an angle. Okay, not going to be a, like I said, it's not going to be a perfect bench. It's not going to be a perfect anything. I'm just trying to draw something really quick. a little bit thick. The seat, that is. Okay. Okay, so this is where he's going to sit. So I'm going to erase that. So he's a man, so men sit with their legs kind of like open, you know. They do. Ain't nobody going to tell me, oh, that's, that's whatever, you know, because it is true. And we've got his shoes. Just sitting and chilling. While he's reading his newspaper. Make this shoe as big as the Oh well. He's sitting here and he's about here. So I'm just going to give him a little bit of a big head because scientists, it's a known fact, that's what I've read, that the, it, it proves that you're smart if you have a big cranium. That's what I heard. Can't get past this little hump right here of paper. We need to make this come down a little bit more because it is a newspaper that so needs to come down. And we're going to give him Einstein hair. How about that? We got some Einstein going on. I'm not going to go perfect with his eyes. I'm just... He's, he's like concentrating while he's reading. There's his fingers. There's the other one. There we go. Okay, and the paper's a little wrinkled maybe. There we go, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, and then we've got this. Like I said, it's a bench. Hopefully I'm still rolling. Yeah, I'm almost done. And it's about to cut off anyways. Like I said, it's not going to be a perfect little bench. It's just supposed to be a cutesy thing. Just something cute to draw. And then we're going to put um, Science Weekly. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. I won't just summon him. Not that it matters because this is not going to get sold. But just in case I pass on, you know. They will have that. Okay, so that one is done. And I'm going to put this on here. So that one is done. There we go. Oh, I guess I should get closer so I can see it. <laughs> uh, actually, I can bring it down, can't I? Do. Do, pity. Okay, there's my funky looking dude. <laughs> He's like concentrating and everything. He's like, this is just real quick, y'all. <laughs> So this is what it looks like. That's what it says up there. There you go. That is that one. So 
So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. Instead, I'm just going to glue her down. This one is just the paper. That's all that is. Am I the only one that hates when the glue does that? Ooh, it got a little warm in this room. There we go. That one is done. Okay, so that's it for this this uh, Margaret Miller. So stay tuned till tomorrow. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Stay tuned till tomorrow to see what I come up with tomorrow. I could, I guess. I've got five minutes. I guess I can hurry up and, oops, uh, what do you call that? Line art him in. Where's my pins? Okay, I'm just going to line art him in. I'm going to give him a beard. There we go. Now he's got a beard. <gasps> Oops. Darn paper. And we got his little fingers. Science today. There we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I laugh at my own jokes sometimes. What can I say? Anyways, if you liked the video, please give it a like. Um, if you enjoyed it, I mean. And subscribe to see more videos that are coming. Uh, this is just the start because, um, like I said, I'm trying to catch up and I haven't been doing too many of these. There we go. So he's done, I just need to erase that. I'll be totally out of whack with the, what do you call them, the boards. There we go. Okay. Now I can, oh wait, no I can't. Still need to draw the lines for the boards up here. My pen's not wanting to work half the time. Might be thicker. And this one's dead. Oh, when you draw a lot, that's what happens. Dang it! All my pins are gone. That's what I get when I don't maintain them. In other words, keep keep my pins, you know, healthy. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you had a fun time. Hope you crafted along with me. And, uh, yeah. Share the video if you want to. It's up to you. Um, I guess that's it. 